presented by Church Tech U. It's the Pro Presenter Show. On today's show, how to cut a video with Alpha and preserve transparency. Hi, and welcome again to the ProPresenter Show. This is the show where I help you learn about ProPresenter. My name is Paul Allen Clifford, and before we get started, if you'd like to learn more about ProPresenter and related stuff, go ahead and click the subscribe button and the little bell icon so that you can be the first to learn the new tips and tricks I share. As I told you in the last video about kinetic typography videos, link below, I've partnered with Sam DeZeo at Smart design.church to bring you this tutorial. He created the animation and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to cut it into smaller parts so that you can use it with ProPresenter. If you watched my last tutorial, this one, here's the thumbnail, um, you'll notice that I had several parts of the kinetic typography video, but if you watched Sam DeZeo's um, tutorial about how he made that, you'll notice that he made one video. So how did I take one video, split it into multiple pieces, and maintain the transparency, maintain the alpha channel? Well, I did this in Final Cut Pro, but it's possible to do in Premiere Pro as well, or Sam could have done it when he was making it initially in After Effects. But let's say that you have someone that does the motion graphics and then someone else that would need to cut it appropriately. So let me show you how to do that. The first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need a new project. So let's do that. New project. And now there's something that you need to make sure is set here. First off, we're going to give this a name. Um, ProRes4444, which I'll show you here in just a second. Uh, transparency pieces, let's call it. Okay. Now it could be that as you come in, it's set uh, for ProRes 422LT or something else, but you absolutely need ProRes 4444. The other four is the alpha channel, so this doesn't work without it. So let's start there, and um, I'm going to put that in the tutorials event. That's fine. Okay, so there we are. Now I need the video file itself. So that's, uh, I believe the title was Angels something, because it's Angels We Have Heard on High. So. have deleted it for some reason. So let me just import it. And I happen to know that it was in this. Ah, here we go. Import selected. So let's find where I put that. Here it is. Make sure I grab the whole thing and I'm going to put it here. So you'll notice that the whole shebang is less than a minute long. And if you tried to even just read it, uh, you can see how this is a bit of a problem. Angels we have heard on high sweetly singing o'er the plains and the mountains in reply. Echoing their joyous strains. Gloria. Enix shall cease Deo. Gloria. 
Enix Shell C Steo. Now, first off, notice that we've got this checkered background that indicates that it does, in fact, have a transparent background. So if I put, let's say I put a picture of me, this is from one of my thumbnails, uh, let's select the whole thing. So if I put a picture of me there, you'll see that it goes there. So it is, in fact, a transparent background. So how do I make sure that this carries over and set it up so that I can use it in this particular application, which is in ProPresenter. If you haven't seen that video, uh, click, click on the link below this tutorial, and I'll have a link there. So uh, first we're going to want to make sure we get to a point where it has quit moving. There's no better time than right now to invest in yourself and your team. Imagine what your weekend services would be like if you were confident that whoever was running ProPresenter could face any challenge quickly and easily. Imagine not having to train new people, but being able to give them access to training that will get them ready without having to lift a finger or answer a single question. If that sounds like a dream come true, I've created ProPresenter and other church tech resources just for you. If you'd like to get access to all of them and other ch church tech courses for only a dollar for the first month and join a private community of other church techies, just go to tdm.fyi slash ctu tutorial. I'm always adding more content and answering new questions, so head over and start your first month today. At only a dollar, the only thing you have to lose is the wasted time you're spending looking for answers and training your team with what you eventually learn. Oh, and I've created a multi-site license at a special price for a limited time, so check that out too. And if you'd rather pay with a purchase order, just scroll down below the prices on that same page and click Pay with a PO. Or drop me a line, paul at trinitydigitalmedia.com, along with the PO number, the name of your church, and whether you'd like the yearly or multi-site license. Now back to the tutorial. Okay, so that is there. Um, just for fun, because this is kind of hard to see, let me go ahead and put a generator underneath it. That should work. Okay, so now you can see, yeah, it's quit moving. I'm just going one frame at a time. Let's find the last frame. Yep, see? And... Let's go a couple of frames ahead of that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use the cut tool, uh, which if I wanted to do it manly, manually, I could just hit B for blade. Or... What I actually do is I put the playhead, well, first off, let me go A for arrow, to make sure I have the correct track selected. And what I'll do is Command B, because it's exactly where I want it. Okay, now let's make sure we move that out of the way so that it's just the transparent one. This indicates it's the first frame of the next cut. Let's go to the previous frame, and we don't have anything there. So now I can delete this so that I've got this little bitty video here that's like a second and nine frames, really short. So now I need to export it. So go to File and Share. And we need a master file, so that's Command-E is the shortcut for that. So you can see the preview here. It's showing it as black, but you'll also notice it's 3.7 megs. So let me go into settings here and make sure I change this. In this case, 
I don't want audio and video, but I'm just going to leave it so that I don't forget and um, forget to set it back later. Again, Apple ProRes 4444. Okay, so that is set, and then I can go to next. And let's give it a name. I've already done these, so um, let's go call it Angels We Have Heard on High Sweetly Singing. Not singling, singing. That's something totally different. And now we save that. And you might be wondering, well, Paul, uh, see how fast it exported. This is a 2017 MacBook Pro, so I'm not dealing with the most powerful computer. It's fairly powerful, but not the most. But that's because it's such a small video. So I'm going to click Close. And then I'm going to undo what I did last, which was deleting the video. So Command-Z undoes that. Now I'm going to select this. Bam. Now let's get to where the motion starts. So, actually, hold down shift. Okay, that got me there a lot faster. Okay, it's somewhere there. Okay. So, once again... Select this, Command B to cut where the playhead is, move this over, make sure that I don't have a background on this piece, delete it, and this is the next piece of the puzzle. Oops, I actually made a mistake there. That's not the next piece of the puzzle. That's where it starts moving. So I needed to get rid of that just pause there. And let's go to where And the Mountains in Reply stops. And this doesn't have to be exact, but going a few frames into where this happens really helps. So once again, what I meant to do earlier, cut that, move the background over, and the background is only there because I'm having trouble seeing the details against this black and white, so it's not absolutely necessary. If Sam had put a uh, stroke around the text, then I might not need it at all or uh, an outer glow or whatever. So, once again, deleted that. Command E for export. And I can go and the mountains in reply. I'm going to call this 2 because I've already done this once. Again, the settings stay the way they were, so I'm good here. And go there, and the mountains in reply to. Let's save it. And again, this will be done really fast. Close. So, basically, that's how you do it. But let me go into Finder and show you what they look like in Finder. So now I go into where they're stored. So this is the one we just did and when I press on the space bar you'll notice it has a kind of black background or I said black I meant white. I was thinking actually light gray. But there it is. So, that's macOS saying, uh, this is a transparent background. 
and if I show information about it, you'll notice the codec is ProRes 4444. So it's all there, everything that I need, and now I can bring this into ProPresenter and use it from there. And um, by having that pause in there where it stops, I can just leave this foreground video paused in ProPresenter. The background video underneath it continues to play as long as I want it to. And then I go to the next one, and since it starts with it still, still, just a frame or two, whatever, before it moves, then it transitions quickly and easily. So that's how you split up videos with an alpha channel using Final Cut Pro 10. So that's how you do it. The secret is to make sure you use video editing software that supports ProRes 4444 and export with that to preserve transparency. As I showed you, if you start with a still frame and you end with one, transitioning at any time will give the illusion that you have a longer video instead of several shorter ones. If you like this video and want to see more like it, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. But if you really want to level up your ProPresenter knowledge and want me to help train the people at your church or organization, just go to tdm.fyi slash ctu tutorial and join for the first month for just a dollar and for free for the first month for the yearly and multi-site plans. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford with trinitydigitalmedia.com and churchtechu.com reminding you to go out and change eternity. Yeah.